Hi, I'm Alan and this is Prayers to the Dice Gods and today we're doing something different. We are doing something gold. It is the Golden Griffins. Prayers to the Dice Gods. How golden can you make a griffin? Well, it turns out these golden griffins are the goldiest of golds. Now, you may notice that straight off the bat, we're not painting it gold. We are painting it with a base layer of brown. We want this on there because it changes the tone of the gold. And because the golden griffins actually look like they have a really yellowy gold, I wanted a nice solid base to work from. So we put a nice thin coat of brown on there uh, before we get started with the gold. Because all Space Marines need a good slap, uh, we're going to slap on some Retributor armor. This is my favourite gold, I don't know why, I can change the tone of this to anything. So for this one, it's got to be done. Retributor armor all over the guy, let's slap it on, slap it around. As we know, it's two thin coats of any paint you're applying to a model. On this one, we got a fairly nice solid base just going over the brown with the Retributor armor, but just to make sure that we got it all right, we want to go over it again, make sure that we have a good solid base to work from. We move on to the black base coats, which couldn't come soon enough, because though I like the way the gold looks already, um, painting it um, for a any amount of time other than just to slap it off was making my eyes go funny so getting some other colors on the model this early stage uh, was an absolute must because otherwise i may have gone blind so i'm working my way around the model we've done the bolter we're now on to uh, the little trim around the shoulder pads because that needs to be black we're also going to do the uh, aquila in the center of the chest that's also got to be done in black and of course all of the sections of under armour has all got to be done black, the handle of the pistol. Then we're going to get out the brown, we're going to lay down the base coat for the belt and the pistol holder and any other pouches that he's got around his belt. So let's get the silver out next. We're going to do the bolt gun because that's pretty much the only bit on him that's silver. Now, is it me, or is he not already looking like an incredibly sexy model? I'm loving the way the gold looks with the black. It just worked. And now we're going to uh, see if we can make that look prettier. Now, as I always do, we are slapping some non oil all over the silver parts to give it a little bit more definition, make that bolt gun really start to pop. Now we're using the Cassandora yellow to shade the gold, as well as uh, what I was hoping for was to change the tone slightly, and make it a little bit more of a yellowy gold, which I think it does a really good job of. One of the things to watch out for here is the way I move my brush. I don't just want to slap the shade on. What I want is um, it to shade where it would actually have shadows. 
So I'm drawing the paint and finishing my brush strokes where I want the most intense yellow to be. This is well worth the extra bit of time just to go panel by panel, piece by piece, getting that yellow to, to pull more towards the bottom. Um, I didn't want it to overly pull anywhere on the model. Just nice shadows because I can always go over it with another coat or two or three if necessary. After waiting a suitably long time, and it was a long time, for the shade to dry, uh, I then moved on to beginning my highlights. The first one being with the Retributor Armour again, just going where I want them. I cheated here. I've used the lights on my desk to give me the points where I'm going to put my highlights. Now, all I did was I added some silver to the Retributor Armour, um, progressively made it lighter and lighter until I hit almost bang on the silver I was using. You can use any silver you like, as long as it's a nice bright one, uh, Runefang Steel or something similar would be perfect. Um, you don't want it to be too dark. So I just kept going around the same spots over and over again, making them, uh, well, trying to make them progressively smaller as I went to give it uh, a nice layered highlight. Now, after deciding that the shading wasn't dark enough, I went around again with the yellow shade, just going over the bits that I wanted to be darker. And making sure to miss out the bits that I'd just been highlighting. So now going around with an almost pure silver, just trying to finish up the highlight. So now we're on to highlighting the black. I'm trying to do the shoulder pads in similar locations to the highlights already established on the gold. Uh, it's literally just a case of taking a light grey, adding it into the black in small amount, and then adding it on in layers until I get to the desired highlight. we're moving on to the leather now the leather we want to look like it has a bit of texture which we achieve just by drawing lines around the area um, it's particularly easy when you're doing a gun pouch and the other smaller pouches the belt it's a little bit more difficult but can be done so literally just drawing tiny little lines making the brown progressively lighter and uh, just keep doing that until i get to um, the kind of texture that i'm looking for of course there's a brown wash on here as well to help pull up the edges and make the center darker give it the contrast that I'm after. To make doing the lenses easier, I'm going to put in some grace here. That's not just the eye lenses, that's the lens on the rifle. So now we're just doing the last finishing touches. We're doing the lenses. We're going to put a white spot in each of the corners of the lens just to make it look as if it's got that kind of shine to it. We're going to do the purity seal. We're going to start with the screamer pink to a pink horror, just going around making it look like it's got a little bit of a waxy feel to it. We're going to do the parchment paper. We can do this with any off-white that we like. Um, and then we're going to go over it with the seraphim sepia. And obviously if you want to add some writing to it, the easiest way to do that I find is with an actual black ink. I use a Liquitex black ink. I really like it, especially with a nice brush. Um, you can put some really fine lines on there, make it look like it's got some sort of scribbles on. Then we're on to highlighting the silver. This is as simple as uh, using the dark silver that we started with and adding in the lighter silver until we get to a nice light highlight that we're after. Just to finish up, because this is going to go into a display cabinet and the base is the last thing that we want people to be looking at, we're going to paint it just plain black, nothing else.
Here is the Golden Griffin in all his glory. As he spins around, you can see all of the texture that I've added, all of the highlights. I love it. I don't know about you. If you don't love it, or if you do love it, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get all of the notifications as and when the new videos are released. The Dice Gods favour the Painted Army.